What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Gopton here with another one. I want to give a shout out to everybody that came and checked out the last video. I appreciate everybody's love, but I want to go straight into the topic. I basically, me and my friend was having a conversation today. Someone I had met out here a couple weeks back. He's wondering why I never put subs and review views on my channel. And I told him that some people have and others haven't. Now, I want to give grace and a disclaimer to anyone. I am not talking to anybody directly. This is just my perspective, perception on the situation as far as me being a YouTuber and me being a subscriber on people's channels. So it is not attacking nobody. I want to make that very clear. My thing is why I never did it because it just, you don't know who's your loyal base of people, of people that came through the trenches with you. There have been people in our home arcade community that I truly respect and I watch them wholeheartedly. And there's others I don't. It's just me. But for me personally, as a YouTuber, I would hope I get the same transparency when people watch my content. I want loyal subscribers and loyal views. If there's 100 views, then there's 100 views. If, it's, if I got 200 subscribers, I got 200 subscribers. But I want it to be organic and I want people to enjoy my content. If you don't enjoy my content, don't watch it. I just rather you not even look at my content, just skip over it. But there are people in our space, and as well as the YouTube as a whole, that have more subscribers than views. And all the videos I have watched, they stated that it will ruin your algorithm as far as people watching it. And then if you do wind up to buying subscribers, those subscribers that you got, they're not really watching your video. You might have them on there as you're trying to get to a thousand subscribers and that be might be a milestone, but did you really work to get to it? It's just like someone on a, on, that actually has a real nine to five and someone selling drugs. The money is faster, yes, but it comes with a lot more hardship compared to a person that worked a nine to five and built up to a retirement. I'm a person that rather be the nine to five. I'd rather take my time and learn how to be a great YouTuber. Some people instantly got stardom, star study, star status, stardom being in the space. They channels grew immensely huge over a short period of time. And I am not here to bang them. And there's some people that actually have large followings already, walked in the space with it and they were able to organically organically make new subscribers. But then there's people that bought their subscriber base and you don't know, I never see their content anywhere. So you have to really pay attention what you're doing in this space. It's, I would say, cold hardly, take your time. Don't buy your subscribers, don't buy your views. Let faithful people, faithful subscribers love your content. And regardless if you get beat up and they don't like it, continue to strive for greatness. I know on a regular, I might get a negative comment here and there, but I don't let it discourage me for what my goal is. My goal is to be the best YouTuber I could possibly be for me. I am not trying to compete with anybody. I enjoy everybody that allowed me to come on a podcast. Shout out to Arcades Anonymous. Shout out to 19K Fox. Shout out to, to PETA. Shout out to um, One of Underground. All those people been in my space. They allow me to be on their platforms and they love my content. There are other, uh, shout out to Kevin Clarkson and, and Video Game Vegas. They've been loyal subscribers on my channel. There are people that will come on your channel and enjoy your stuff, and there's others that will piss all over it because you're not like everybody else or you're not highly excited or you don't, you're not motivated. Motivation comes from different voices, different presence, different skill sets. Me being in the military, I know that I didn't gravitate to every soldier that came came in my squad or my platoon or the company I ran. They didn't like me because they didn't like how I sound or I didn't have a, a leadership pr presence, but I earned my rank. I earned everything I had. And that's just by being in the podcast space, you must earn your subscribers. You must earn your loyal fan base. You must earn all of it, your views, because with that, comes all the other good stuff behind it but if you cheat your way to the top it's only going to hurt you in the long run it might not you might not see the difference now but you might 
see the difference later and that is going to really dictate what type of YouTuber you are. And you don't want people calling you out that you bought subscribers, you bought views. Like I said, I'm not here to bang anybody, but I'm just noticing a lot of people lately in our space has dibble and dabble in that, that, that situation. And my thing is you don't have to just let your subscribers come to you organically. Do not manufacture, don't make it artificial. Just try to stay on your roadmap. And if you gotta adjust, then adjust by allowing people in your comments, like um, shout out to Corner K, but I asked him what was wrong with my channel. And he gave me some positive, constructive criticism. And I don't mind that. And if people wanna do that to me to this day, please do that. All the, I don't know everything in this space, but I truly appreciate all the advice that I've been given in this space. So I just wanna end this video and I just wanna put this out there and I wanna appreciate everybody for stopping by. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment on the below. I, I, it just, I'm trying to get to that Holy Grail 1K and it's gonna be a milestone when I get there. It is your boy Gotham City here back at you with another one. And I'll have everybody have a great day and take care. Peace.